Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ballet Rain. Today we are delivering fresh spring flowery vibes to your screen because today's ballet appreciation is on the one, the only, amazing Voices of Spring Padida by Frederick Ashton. This is one of our favorite Padidas of all time. If you've recalled from the Padida tier list, linked above and below if you want to check it out. This was in the Where's My Partner? Where is my tier. partner? Because this Padida is spring. It embodies spring. Yeah. It is the balletic incarnation <laughs> of spring. Okay, so if you guys are feeling springy, then hit the like button and we will spring. Eat it. Before we get into the Voices of Spring Padida, we are here to point you towards the Ballet Rain merch shop. Wow! The Ballet Rain merch shop is the place where you can directly support us, our channel, and our team, and get yourself some adorable, exquisite ballet nerding merch. We have a ton of selections. There's everything from stickers to mugs to sweatshirts, even dog bandanas. We do get a lot of comments saying that your dogs and cats at home are also proficient, <laughs> prolific ballet nerds. So to all of you who have supported us by buying our merch, and to all of you that are currently thinking about it, <laughs> thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. For your contact! Woo! The Voice of the Spring Padrida is choreographed by Frederick Ashton, one of my personal favorite choreographers. And the music is written by the Waltz King himself, Johann Strauss II. This Padrida was actually originally created to be part of the opera, Die Fledermaus. And since then, it has sort of been taken as a standalone Padrida in the ballet repertoire. The dancers we're going to be featuring in today's commentary are <laughs> royal ballet dancers. <laughs> but who's surprised anymore? The beautiful partnership we're going to be featuring today is Anna Rose O'Sullivan and Marcelino Sambe. Marcelino we actually featured in one of our favorite dancers video, linked above and below. But anyway, they work super, super well together. I yeah. feel like they're kind of a, an iconic partnership within yeah. the royal ballet company. They pair really well because they both have this very jubilant, very vibrant, and very youthful sort of energy in their dancing and so they connect really well when they dance together and especially in this pas de deux. Why don't we just, why don't we just get into it? We'll because. just get into it. <laughs> All right, let's go. Starting right away with a torch lift and she has flower petals, you guys. The flower petals are a highlight, I must admit. Oh, it's so much fun. And then she has to, um, strategically sprinkle them yes. as she goes along. She has to save some for this passage where she crosses again. This oh, so it's cute. so pretty. It's so whimsical. It's so whimsical. What not to love about sprinkling flower petals from the <gasps> sky. Just open the pot of it. I know. It's like the most springish entrance yeah. that you can possibly have. I know. It's full of life. It's full of energy. And it's just so, so happy. It's incredibly difficult to start a pot of it with such a strong opener. It's like, like Ashton said, I know y'all are just here for the lifts. I'll give you lifts. <laughs> we'll give you lifts. <laughs> <laughs> Most Potter does kind of start a little bit slower, like think Sleeping Beauty Potter does. Mm -hmm. You start with just a devil pay. Both yeah. are on their two feet on the ground. A lot of Potter does kind of ease into it. They start a little bit slower, but this one is like, you hit the yeah. ground running. Yeah, literally. <laughs> the big smiles from both of them. It's so celebratory. It is. Whack. <laughs> I love that Ashton's choreography for that reason. I know. That he follows the music. And so and eight. Of da 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 and da 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 it's so good. It's so intuitive to the music. That is a really hard turn passage. Yeah. Because you're turning on the or and then you're turning on the don right away. It's hard for both her and for him because you have so much momentum going in one direction. You have yes. to stop, not only that, but completely channel the force in the opposite direction for the next turn. Mm -hmm. And that's incredibly difficult to do, yeah. especially with the time constraints within the music. Yeah, it's like turn, 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 stop, and turn, yeah. turn, turn, stop. <laughs> and turn, stop, and turn, stop, and <laughs> da 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 <laughs> I love the skippity hop passage. Ah, it's, it's so, so cute. cute. Uh, 
Undy or. Undy done. Double. Jenny out. Undy or. And boom! <laughs> oh, so good! Incredible. I love that he lifted his chin as well. I know. That when, was... when she went back, he didn't just like stop. He also went boom! Yes. To like finish the whole picture. Marcelino's unique because he dances a lot. Even when he's partnering, he makes it a performance of yeah. itself rather than just making it about her. Yeah, she's exactly. a big part of it. And it's important, especially for these kinds of roles, for both partners to show that excitement and that joy and to carry that emotion forward and project it into the audience. So they really do a good job here. Open to the audience. Yay. This Jubilant is sprinting into the corner. This might be my favorite part. This little running on her toes. It's so ethereal looking. I love it. And she keeps her whole upper body so still and smooth that she does that. Yeah, a lot of that is because of him and his uh, incredible partnering abilities. Yeah, to keep this... her at the same level. Yeah, so it looks like she's just gliding, almost hovering across the floor. Love it. I love how they ah, match their heads so there. Cute. It was just a little. Hi it's there. so cute that little um, connection with the audience. It's cheeky. They have a yeah. little like float, float. Hi there. Yeah, it's it's adorable. Big angel lift. And here we go. We're not done yet. Now we give him a break because the Dunsor has had a lot of not just big lifts. But like those small lifts. Yeah. And like carrying her through. She has barely been on her own two feet this entire <laughs> part <laughs> yet. So I'm sure it was purposeful to give him a little bit of a break while she does her little variation. Lots of little footwork here. Yeah. I think we might have mentioned this in the Ballet Styles video, but um, Ashton was very much influenced by Chiquetti and was Chiquetti trained in all of that. So a lot of his little passages here, like the little footwork and stuff, looks very much like Chiquetti exercises. Yeah, it does. And it's almost sparkly. Yeah. That's the best way I can describe it. It adds a youthful charm. Yeah. And a very a cuteness. And if you're watching this passage here, when he joins in, they do this arabesque and pas de and pas de break. That's sort of like a little excerpt of the Fred step, which is like Frederick Ashton's choreographic signature. Yeah. He slid it into his pieces that yeah. he did, but supposedly he Boy. stole this step from Anna Pavlova. She was also a very big inspiration for Ashton. And everyone called it the Fred step, but it was actually from Pavlova. So there's your fun ballet trivia for you. Now he has his variation. She takes a little break. Show us your beautiful ballon there, Marcelino. One, One two, two, three. three. And a sail. Oh, <laughs> oh, so pretty. Beautiful. Yes. Nice, nice solid landing there. I love the crown of flowers she I know. has in her hair. Oh, it's so adorable. Balance sequence here. Oh wow, so solid. And if you think about it, this is usually quite difficult because the ballerina, she is on this much space of her shoe, right? Her only source, like if she's off balance, her only source of balance would be from the danseur, who is also only on one leg. So you can imagine how hard that is for the danseur. Yeah. Being like only on one foot and expected to support her as much as he would be if he was on two feet. And then she has a little added pressure, you know, like I can't be off balance, otherwise- It'll pull him off balance as Yeah, well. and then everything goes down. Yeah. A beautiful collaboration here and they made it so seamless and solid. It would look really strong. And the positions are so, so clean. Oh, so good. Oh, the music. Ah. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that was so da. cute. <laughs> I love how it works with the music. This is also in the two pigeons, this sort of passage. It's yeah, very Ashton. Over and he under. loves that. That's wow. a really tough transition. He has to bring her all the way around, set her on balance, and send her shedding out. <laughs> there needs like so much awareness for both partners. Yeah. It has to be very, very carefully measured and calculated. Mm -hmm. Beautiful chenets for both. 
I love her dress too. I know goodness. the way it kind of like fans out like that. It's skirt drama, you guys. Skirt drama. We'll always be captivated by the skirt drama. Here's the Fred step again. This is beautiful. I love their oh. interactions with each other. You can That's see so there's charming. like unfiltered joy and excitement and energy. Yeah. Wow. Another balance sequence. Oh, wow. I love that. The synchronicity. Yeah. And, and with hand switches. I could watch this all day. Honestly, it's so satisfying. Hand. Switch. And switch. And turn for him. Boom. And oh. boom. And boom. One. And boom. <gasps> I love this little skippity hop sequence. I'm, I'm all for skippity hop sequences. I think they're so cute. I love that she looks at him here. I know. Like, watch me. I'm watch gonna do me. this. <laughs> Beautiful air. And I love how she looks back at him there as well. Effortless. Again with these beautiful. Oh, that's oh, so cute. So fun. They look so genuine. Yeah, you can so see fun. like the exchange happening, like the dialogue. Yeah, it's as if they're having a real conversation. You can almost hear it yourself when mm -hmm. you watch them. And it feels like like they're almost like they're making it up. It feels yeah. spontaneous. It does that's what feel it is. like that. You know, he'll be like, oh, come over here. It should be like, okay, you know what? I'm going to go this way. Yeah. And you can see that like, oh, I know what I'll do. Yeah. I'll do this. Yeah. And that it's, just, you know, the making it up kind of as they go along. Th yeah. That sort of feel. I like that it doesn't feel too staged, mm -hmm. especially for this kind of pattern. It's supposed to look spontaneous and look fresh. It does look fresh. It, it's like fresh. spring. Like spring. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he did. <laughs> One handed, you guys. Wow. Gorgeous. Mastery. Here's Here the T go. lift. The T lift and the spin. Ooh. It's very dizzying. It I is. <laughs> It's very dizzy. It's very dizzying. I it's, feel like when you're turning by yourself, it's a lot easier. But when you're horizontal and your head is like on the outside going around <laughs> this way, yeah. it's, it's like 10 times more dizzying. It's very dizzying. And it, and, and it feels faster than it is. Yeah, it feels you know? really fast. Like we see front and back and front and back. But for her, it's like, whoo! <laughs> it feels like your head might fly off. Yeah. But other than that, it's like, you know, not a hard lift for the girl. You're kind of just chilling. Yeah, you're just sitting there. Just embrace the dizziness. Exactly. Embrace the spin. And nice. You got to get upright right away. Find your bearings. And she has this little moment to like catch yourself. Stop getting dizzy. I know. And then we do we more, more turns. <laughs> Good save there. Nice. Very good save. Nice little waltzy bit. Uh, I love little waltzes. This is just adorable. <laughs> we have no comments for this section. Oh, so cute! <laughs> Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Strauss, we talked about this about Strauss, I think once before, but he was known for that very booming, <laughs> humongous sound. He never disappoints. Never. And added with this oh! <laughs> Where is my partner? It's so good. I would just do the whole pot -da. as hard as it is and exhausting as it is. I would just do the whole thing just for that one moment. Pa -pa. Like you can see and the sun rays yes. bursting. It's like it just <laughs> it explodes with like joy and happiness and just ultimate spring vibes, you guys. This is what we were talking about. The it's, ultimate spring vibes. It's so incarnate good. in a potata. Oh, it's so good. And I also like that for that little section, it was a very simple single melody. Do, 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 Right? Yeah. And so it, it's a very simple choreography yeah. that kind of matches that. I think it's also the call and response. How yeah. she goes, do, 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 and he goes, do, 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 do. It's just like that sort of, again, dialogue. And I think the choreography matched that musical passage very well. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, more skippity hops. One, One more 
charge <laughs> and run out. Dramatic swish out. Boom. I <laughs> love this auditor. Oh, it's so good. Oh my goodness. It's so charming to watch. And I think what makes it so captivating is just the contrast between like extremely virtuosic steps and like really difficult stuff. And then just having these really quaint, very simple, very carefree moments yeah. within the same Potterda. And just seeing those two together, it makes you feel something. It makes yeah. you feel really happy and very mm -hmm. content at yeah. the end of it. I love their specific interpretation of this as well. It's, oh yeah. It's so playful. It's very carefree. Their smiles alone are sunshine. I know. Like pure sunshine. Just watching them in this Potterda is like a breath of fresh air. It really is. And it's just the best. So that was the Voices of Spring Padida brought to you by Anna Rose and Marcelino. Please hit the like button for both of them because they did a really fabulous, exquisite job in this Padida. We hope this video brought a smile to your face. I know it definitely did to us. Yes, if you're not smiling yet, you need to just go back and watch the whole video again because this one is like the antidote to all of your sorrows. <laughs> <laughs> but if you enjoy ballet nerding with us, we have an entire playlist full of ballet commentaries that we do. So if you like this sort of video format, there is a lot more where that came from. <laughs> Go check it out, linked above and below, and we hope you'll have some more fun. Make um, sure you leave a comment on your favorite springtime ballet piece. And if you want to see more videos like this, then feel free to subscribe. It's free, no cost, and you'll get to join us on all of our future ballet nerding fun. Anyway, I think that is all from us for now. This is Ballet Rain signing off. Until the next video. Bye. Do we have a treat? Do we got? Have we, we got, got a show for you? you.